up there guys of the Wiz back at it again for another video with some more Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information right here right now so let's get right to it. Okay so continuing on from the Kingdom Hearts 3 Ultimania Nomura makes some addresses in regards to Namine. Questionnaire in the final world Sora tells Namine someone else special I know won't let you down literally the person you miss slash want to see the most will come get you. Did he mean Riku? Nomura he meant that the person Namine wants to see the most would come get her as a way of cheering her up. It is actually Riku in the form of the one who has been entrusted with the Riku replica's feelings, who does go and get her. Namine does feel a special connection to Riku slash the replica Riku. Now that's interesting because I distinctly remember Namine always wanting to see Sora and Roxas. I get that yes Namine does technically have a connection with replica Riku, but I never really once thought that it was that Sora was referring to Riku. I was thinking Roxas, but now that I I think about it since Shion's back um does that mean rip Namine x Roxas remember that beautiful ending of Kingdom Hearts 2 of Roxas and Namine looking at each other <laughs> oh boy here goes the shipping war I don't know the whole replica Riku x Namine connection felt kind of random I understand replica Riku wanting to save Namine his whole thing was protecting Namine in Kingdom Hearts 3 Chain of Memories and it's not like Riku and Namine don't share a connection since Namine is essentially essentially Kairi and the way Kingdom Hearts 3 ended up it was basically the destiny duo yo Riku and Kairi didn't say anything to each other which I think is pretty hilarious but hey that's why we got your girl Namine in there I highly doubt the real Riku has like you know that strong type of feeling if anything you know he's just carrying out the replica Riku's will with inside of him and sees Namine as more as a friendly type of thing but hey you know you want to start shipping Riku and Namine you know and <laughs> you be you I don't know Namine feeling that strongly towards replica Riku like that was the savior that she was waiting for it just felt kind of random them to me but moving on to the next question Sora doesn't thank Namine in this game either is this something that is going to be carried over in a future game Nomura well Namine's revival did happen at the end of the game effectively making it something that will be drawn out longer <laughs> come on bro you're telling me you were still dragging this on actually I thought that Sora did thank her we just didn't see it because we had the whole squad at Destiny Island so I thought Sora would have you know thank her during that time before before, you know, <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> I can't look at that scene ever without crying. But I guess that's just another promise we're gonna have to wait on. Moving on to the questionnaire asked, how did Ansem the Wise and the Enzo and the others move Namine's heart into a vessel without Kyrie being there? Namora, when Kyrie was defeated the first time in the Keyblade graveyard, Namine's heart was thrown into the final world, right? And Namine's heart was also thrown out just before the final battle. When Kyrie was hit by Xehanort's attack, I do plan to show the details of what happened after that. Okay, from what I'm taking from this is that after Kairi got struck by Xehanort, Namine was able to escape and make her way to the replica body, I think. Think? See, this part kind of confuses me here. Did Namine just make her way to Ansem the Wise and everybody while Kairi was gone? Or did she return to Kairi when Sora brought her back and then they found a way to extract Namine from Kairi? Or maybe when Kairi was brought back, instead of Namine going to Kairi, Namine just ended up going to the vessel with Ansem the Wise? I don't really know, but regardless, I'm glad Nomura plans to show the details on how all of that went down. All we need to know is just the order of things like you know did Namine come first or did Kairi come first and then we will be all good however it sounds like we are probably going to be getting some Namine stuff in regards to the DLC yo oh my god how much stuff are they cutting from this flipping game <laughs> so guys what I want to know in the comment section below is you know Namine what, what do you what do you think yo you gotta admit Namine Kairi they're basically the goat if it wasn't for Kairi they all would have been dead if it wasn't from Namine you know contacting the lingering will they would have died again like so <laughs> you know all kudos to your girl Namine over here. So guys, what I want to know in the comment section below is, you know, uh, again, Namine, what do you think? What do you think of Namine wanting, like, you know, Replica Riku to bring her back, be that savior? And if, what do you think about the whole Namine getting her vessel back situation? How exactly did that end up happening? So guys, leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big, big, big thumbs up as it really helps me out. If you're not already, you can follow me on Twitter. Same thing as my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wiz. I'm also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Post all the good stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say bye, pal.
days, my